Galaxies are made up of stars. And I can show sort of a standard ground-based picture. Say, look at this fuzzy blob. That's a galaxy, and now let's look at an HST image of it. Look at all those stars. A spectrograph actually is one of, was one of the original instruments on the Hubble Space Telescope when it was first launched. Since the, the team was involved in an instrument that was actually a spectrograph and not an imager, something that didn't take pretty pictures, yeah. it was really important to get the pretty pictures, but also to somehow relate you know, the squiggly lines that you get from a spectrograph to what those lines are telling you about the images that you're seeing. What I did was do a galaxy redshift survey that was directed toward Lyman Alpha absorbers um, to try and understand where the absorbers were coming from. Uh, that was all Hubble money. The farther away an object is, the faster it seems to be moving away from us. The faster it's moving, the more of the stretching of the light you see, the higher the redshift. Okay? And so that redshift is a measurement of how far away the object is. And this, is this is what Hubble discovered. This is why he has a telescope named after him. It captures the public imagination. And when I'm talking about things, it just, you know, look beautiful picture. You get your oohs and ahs, and they're hooked. For all the great things Hubble has done, certainly even scientifically, the fact that we can now look at other galaxies and see all of those stars and tell the history of the galaxy because we can resolve all of those stars, that's a powerful message.